when you were talking about that first day, one of the quotes was, it was so hard. I was crying because everybody beat me up. I thought I was going to do better than what I did. Can you take us back to that first day as a young kid wrestling? Do any experiences, any stories come to your mind when you think of that day? Yeah, well, I was used to like um, wrestling with my friends. So, you know, I wrestle around with my friends and and they are good people, but they're not that, you know, they're, they never ended up wrestling because they, they weren't wrestlers is something you have inside you you know and and they're very great all successful awesome people at, at what they do and uh it was like kind of competitive you know because neither one of us none of us knew what we were doing yeah. so i uh i ended up starting wrestling and everyone had been training and like they went for a run i think it was like a two mile run before the season and I threw up and I was like what is going on I was like eating candy and drinking soda and they were like you can't do that and I was like oh no one ever told me that like you know like I knew nothing about nutrition nothing about hard work I'd played sports but like when you're a kid and you play sports it's not it's not really the same like you don't know like kids today might know better than I knew when I was growing up but it's uh it was different i was like the first athlete in my family really no one else in my family really played sports my uh my dad wrestled for a year but he was like kind of like a troublemaker you know so he uh he ended up quitting after a year. Or not doing... what what made him stop he was into him? like riding he was riding like motorcycles and doing stuff like that and like okay. trying to be cool he had better stuff to so, do yeah, yeah, he was a cool guy. So I wasn't a cool guy. I was a wrestler. And it was so hard my first day, you know, I was crying, crying, and, and it was tough. But my family, they they helped me, they motivate me, you know, motivate me to stay with it and not quit. And uh, I stuck with it. And I ended up, you know, uh, I think I won like a hun over 150 matches or 100. I won. No, I won 100 and like 25 matches in high school and that was after I went I only won two real matches I got six forfeits my freshman year and uh, I stuck with it I wrestled all the way through college I was a captain I won matches in six different weight classes and I uh, ended up becoming a pro fighter so I mean it's whew, I'm glad I stuck with it yeah man this act that point actually brings me to the most inspirational part at least in my opinion and tell me if I have this information correct from what I read in your first season wrestling, I didn't say what age you were, but it said you went 0-17, came back that next season, and then went undefeated. Is that true? And if it is, what changed? No, it's not true. It's not true. Okay. But it's close. So I lost my first 17 matches. And I, I finished the season 2-22, uh, and 22, 8 I think eight and 22, if you count six forfeits I got, cause I was a 103 pounder, but for real, my first 17 matches, I, I, I lost all of them and uh, it was tough. My next year I came back and I think I, I don't know why I remember this. I think I went 24 and 12 and I, I placed in my conference and I won matches at States. So it was like a big deal for me, a big, a big turnaround. And, and the reason I did that is I had a, um, a friend who's since passed, his name was Pete Benzavanga, and he encouraged me to train in the off season. And he like was, was real tough on me. He's like, Nick, listen, everyone's kicking your ass and they're looking at you as an easy match and they're taking it as like a joke. He's like, you're not a joke. You got to train all year round so you can beat these guys. And, and he was right. So I, I got motivated and like, I was like doing track. He's like, don't do track. That's stupid. Wrestle all year round. You need to get better. And I was like, okay. So I, I dedicated to, to wrestling. I joined Atlas Club with um, Coach Andy Saras, who was an Olympian, and he was my coach for the club team. And, and I ended up, you know, I, ended up, I never had a losing season after that, and I ended up going all state. 